area is a drug delivery system and the biomaterial application. Besides, we also working with government institutes uh, on the analysis of uh, active compounds uh, in Taiwan. Uh, so the topic I'm going to talk today is the analysis of uh, ATIP components and uh, bioactivities for natural products. Uh, I'm from the Department of Biochemical Science and Technology, College of Life Science, National Jai University. Maybe I can... Okay. Next. Uh, as you know already, uh, botanical such as leaves, petals, flowers, stem, roots, and bark containing potential bioactivity components, which call phytochemicals. Uh, the phytochemicals can be used in food, beverage, dietary supplement, pharmaceuticals, and uh, cosmetic product. Uh, phyto uh, phytochemistry, including antioxidants, vitamin, protein, uh, photophenols, phenolloids, terpenes, oligosaturides, and the lipids. Uh, photochemi uh, photochemicals prevent the uh, cells against the damage from the uh, aging, stress, inflammation, and the disease. Um, next, the global market value for phytochemicals are quite huge, particularly in pharmaceuticals and healthy products. Uh, food industry, cosmetics, and uh, animal feed and the uh, fertilizers. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to talking about the extraction of a high uh, qualified extract from the pot uh, potential Um Not only the raw material is essential, but also the extraction techniques applied are crucial. Uh, so far, such as uh, he said, methanol, butane, and other H chemi chemicals can be contaminated the extract during the extraction process. Um, so uh, water, alcohol, ethanol, glycerin, or vegetable oils are the best choice uh, for, uh, for the solvent extraction because they are safe, not toxic, and uh, approved by the FD, uh, FDP. In Taiwan, the industry focuses on green extraction techniques, particular for government regulation and uh, environmental consider uh, considerations. There are six principles for green extraction. Uh, one, innovation by selection of uh, varieties and uh, the use of a uh, renewable plant resource. Two, use the alternative solvent and uh, principally water or agar solvents. Three, reduce the energy, uh, energy consumption by energy recovery or using innovative uh, technique. Four, production of local products instead of waste to include the bio or agro refining industry. Five, reduction of a unit operation number and the development of a safe, robust and the control process. Six, uh, aim to not denature and the biodegradable extract without contaminants. Now, uh, quarter medicines are extracted from the plant. Um, Peso is uh, one of example. 10 kilogram of uh, dry yard bark produce only one gram of Peso after extraction and uh, purification. The chemical structure of uh, Peso is very composite, uh, uh, complex and uh, expensive to extract, uh, expen expensive to for full synthesis. In innovation by selection of variety and use a renewable plant resource, TESO can be uh, prepared by similar synthesis from the natural precursor 10 deacetyl becalin 3. Uh, 10 deacetyl becalin 3 can be extracted from the yard needle and the branch instead of yard bark. Or we can use the solvent uh, free, or we can use the, sol uh, the alternative or green solvents. The, the solvent we can use, like an echo solvent, like a glycerol, natural solvent, vegetable oils, or alcohol, super critical fluid, like a double, uh, carbon dioxide, 
green solvents like waters to replace the petroleum resource of our solvents. Or we can use a solvent-free extraction uh, techniques like solvent-free microwave extraction uh, microwave radiation can damage the internal structure of a sample molecule, uh, uh, materials and, the uh, and the breaking down the cell structure promote the rapid release of the internal materials from the cells. Or we can use the ultrasonic assistant extraction uh, equipment. Um, in this uh, technique, we can use different frequency of uh, ultrasonic waves to create the cavity into the cells for breaking down the cell structure to release, release the internal materials. This is the industry scale ultrasonic assistant uh, equipment in our university. For industry, manufacturers want to increase the extraction yield, uh, extract purity, and the extract quality. On the other hand, they want to reduce the cost of extraction process by decreasing extraction time, number of uh, unit operation, and energy consumption, uh, solvent use, and the waste. The first topic I'm going to talk now is solvent extraction of bioactive components from the from curcuma and its comparison with supercritical fluid extraction. This industry portrait was worked with Mental Industry Research and Development Center, JAE Industry Innovation and the Research Center. There are four branches in JAE Industry Innovation and the Research Center. Uh, one is for industri Industry Research and Development Institute. Second is Mental Industry Research and Development Center. Three is a Precision Machinery Research and Development Center. The fifth one is uh, the fourth one is the Cycling and Health Technique Industry uh, uh, Research and Development Centers. The, uh, we work with Mental Industry Research and Development Center, which are focused on industry use extraction techniques. I'm sure everyone in this session are familiar with uh, turmeric. Uh, turmeric is a traditional Indian folk medicine and uh, food additive. Cur uh, curcuminoids comprising uh, curcumin, demethacy curcumin, and uh, base demethacy curcumin, which, can, uh, which are poor water-soluble polyphenol, can be derived from the curcuminoma by ethanol extraction. Um, healthy product containing turmeric uh, base extract are very popular in Taiwan now. The, uh, the, po the healthy product shown in this screen, which I found in the website. The indication for this uh, turmeric based healthy product are anti inflammation, uh, hypopotative. Losing, the, losing weight or repression. In our previous study, we used a uh, liposome to encapsulate curcumin uh, to suppress uh, osteocastrogenesis through the downregulation of uh, casein K and the trap expression. In uh, in our previous study, we uh, our curcumin loading liposome can restore OBG to rainbow ratio in interleukin one beta treat um, osteoblast through the suspension of a cos two and the NMP three uh, gene expression. Uh, however, in our study. In our previous study, we used pure curcumin compound, now the uh, turmeric uh, extract. And then all the raw material of a turmeric based healthy product in Taiwan are purchased from the overseas. So in this study, we use the uh, Taiwan indigenous uh, uh, turmeric 
uh, from Zhai Agricultural Experiment Branch, Taiwan Agricultural Research Institute to analyze the content and the bioactivities. In our experiment design, we extract the turmeric uh, powder around 800 uh, gram by ethanol extraction or supercritical fluid extraction, and then analyze the chemi uh, chemical com composition, antioxidant, anti-inflammation, anti-cell synthesis, and the anti adipogenic effects. Superfluid extraction is one of the green extraction technique has been one used in industry, especially in extension oil or perfume. Carbon dioxide is the solvent used in supercritical fluid extraction. So it can reduce the solvent contamination in the final products. Uh, in the results, we first compare the total uh, polyphenol content in turmeric extract, EE, uh, the extraction from the ethanol extraction, uh, and then the extract from the superfluid uh, extraction. Uh, in these uh, figures, we can see EE had 2.5 times higher polyphenol content than SFE. Next, we check the total tripanoid content. We found uh, SFE had about 2.9 times higher tripanoid content than EE. From this data, we suggest that the components in EE the, from the ethanol extraction could be different from the supercritical fluid extraction. Then we use the HPLC uh, to analyze the main components in EE and the SFE. First, we know the main component in, uh, in turmeric are curcumin, base demethyl curcumin and uh, demethyl curcumin. So we uh, inject uh, the, e, uh, the extract from the EE to analyze the component. And then we can find three peak of a curcumin, base dimethyl curcumin, and the dimethyl curcumin. The yield, uh, in, uh, the yield from the EE was 0.052 milligram per gram and 0 0.955, uh, 0.954 milligram per gram for the uh, from base for base dimethyl curcumin and the curcumin. We Sorry, we also uh, sorry we also uh, make sure the uh, demethylene curcumin and curcumin content in the extract from the superfluid um, extraction. We found the content was 0.2 microgram per gram and uh, 0 0.03 microgram per gram for this demethyl uh, for this curcumin and the curcumin. Therefore, uh, the extraction yield for base demethyl curcumin and curcumin content for uh, turmeric powder EE was higher than SFE extract, about uh, 2,600 times and uh, 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 31,000 times higher. Therefore, we want to know which is the major component in SFE extract. So uh, we use GC mass to analyze the turmeric extract from the SFE. And uh, we indicate the main components in SFE are aromatic uh, tumoral, tumor and uh, cumulo. Um, the extraction yield of aromatic uh, tumoral and tumor from the SFE extract were 5.31 milligram per gram and uh, 4.14 milligram per gram. We study the literature 
unfold. They uh oh sorry, the major components of a uh, tum uh turmeric oil are aromat aromatic tumoral, tumoral and uh, culon, uh, which also called beta tumoral. Uh, we study the literature and found that uh, not many research have studied the tumor known bioactivity. Based on these works, we found tumor known had antifungal, insect repellent, antibacterial, anti pellet, anti multigenic, and anti information uh, activities. Uh, but there is no bone related work with tumor. Then uh, we plan to compare the bioactivity of the uh, ethanol extract and the uh, supercritical fluid extract uh, on bone cells. Um, we want to study whether tumor ha uh, has similar bio biological uh, effect to curcuminoid. Uh, first, we measure the antioxidant activity of a uh, turmeric extract by the PPH assay, and the result uh, show uh, indicate that ethanol, uh, the EE, the ethanol extract had much higher antioxidant activity than SFE in every concentration. Similar antioxidant pattern was present in ABTS scarred scarper gene activities. Although uh, e, uh, ethanol extract have good antioxidant activity, but still weaker than SOP acid. We compare our extract with other research work. In comparison with other uh, turmeric uh, extract prepared with solvent extraction, like uh, ethanol or methanol extraction. Um, our EE require higher concentration to remain around 50% antioxidation activity. In comparison with other extension oil extract from the curcuma longa, we, we also find that SF, uh, SFE require higher concentration to remain similar antioxidant activity. Therefore, um, in uh, industry scale or large scale extraction um, may reduce the yield of a major components or Taiwan indigenous uh, tumoral have a less content of a major components and then reduce the antioxidant activity. Um, in bone, dysregulated information lead to increase the bone resorption and the suspect the bone formation. Therefore, the uh, dysregulated information can cause many uh, uh, any problems, including a fractures, inflation, inflammatory arthritis, osteoporosis, osteonecosis, metabolic bone disease, and the tumor. Um, Inflammatory cyclotides such as uh, TNF-alpha can inhibit uh, osteoblast differentiation for bone formation. And subse subsequently uh, uh, induce uh, osteoclast maturation for bone resorption. In our previous study, we, we use the LOPS, uh, it? we use the LPS and the RENCO to stimulate a raw 264.7 mouse microbiome for osteoclast differentiation. So first, we determine the cytotoxicity of a, a turmeric extract in Microbiome. We indicate that uh, ethanol extract at a concentration below than two milligram per meal can remain 80% cell viability. In contrast, SFE can remain 80% cell viability at a concentration below five, 
1.5 milligram per meal. In nine, uh, in nine tribe production study, we demonstrate that uh, turmeric extract, EE, and uh, SFE can reduce the uh, NO production in LPS, human uh microphage. And at the concentration of um, at the concentration of 1.5 milligram, at the concentration of 1.1 milligram per meal, uh, SFE had a similar anti-inflammation effect to EE. Next, we study the uh, effect of a uh, turmeric extract on, uh, on inflammatory factor cos 2 in LPS induced uh, microphage. Uh, both of a uh, turmeric extract can be those dependently suppress the cause expression. At the concentration of 1.5 milligram per meal, uh, EE uh, had slightly better anti-inflammatory uh, activity than, S, uh, than SFE. Then uh, we may show the cytotoxicity of a uh, turmeric extract in mouse osteoblast uh, 7F2. Uh, we indicate that uh, EE at a concentration in the range between 0.5 and uh, 1.5 milligram per meal can remain 80% of a cell fibrility. In contrast, uh, SFE can remain 80% cell fibrability at a concentration in the range between 0.5 and 1 milligram per meal. Okay. Um, Austin, uh, free radicals can accumulate inside the cell to cause the oxidative uh, stress. Um, Oxidative stress can induce inflammation, aging, arthritis rheumatis in bone tissue. In here, we study the effect of a turmeric extract on ROS production in osteoblasts. We use the DCFDA uh, fluorescent dye to label the ROS. DCFDA can penetrate into the cells, hydrolyzed to DCFH by ester ACE and, re uh, and uh, react uh, re with reactive oxygen species ROAs um, to form fluorescent DCF. As you see, H2, uh, H2O2 can stimulate intracellular ROS production. And uh, uh, turmeric extract, EE, uh, EE and uh, SFE can uh, inhibit ROS accumulation in osteoblast. Both of uh, uh, turmeric extraction can dose dependently uh, inhibit the ROS uh, uh, production in osteoblasts. At the concentration of 0.5 milligram per meal, SFE had a similar anti ROS production to EE. Oxidative stress can induce cell aging. Uh, Synthesis associated beta glycosidase can be detected by histochemical staining of cell using the artificial substrate S scale. The, uh, this is the stain of, a, of a S, uh, S scale. In here, uh, we use the H2O2 to induce the oxidative stress in, uh, in osteoblast. The blue stain cells represent as uh, sensor, uh, sensor set cells. As you see, uh, turmeric extract can inhibit oxidative 
um, stress induced cell synthesis in uh, osteosta uh, osteoblast. Um, both of a uh, uh, turmeric extract can dose dependently inhibit osteotip stress induced cell synthesis in osteoblast. At the concentration of uh, 0.5 milligram per meal, uh, e, uh, EE show better anti-aging activity than SFE. Mosin chemo stem cell can be differentiated to adipocyte, chondrocyte, or osteoblast. Hence, previous study demonstrate adipogenesis can cause a bone loose by decreasing the uh, bone myeloid uh, my, uh, density. Okay. Mosin uh, chemo stem cells uh, toward adipogenesis can induce a lipid accumulation, inflammation, and then bone loose. We measure the cytotoxicity of a turmeric extract in adipogenic differential media, uh, uh, shown as ADM, uh, treat the uh, mouse osteoblast. We we are oh, so eh, sorry. Oh, we we indicate uh, EE um. Uh, the when you see the uh, image, we measure the DP accumulation in ADN induced uh, osteoblast. The red staining represents the oil droplet inside the cell. Okay, so you can see the oil, oil droplet uh, inside the cell uh, clearly. Uh, on the slide image, ADM can stimulate DP, uh, intrasecular DP production and both uh, terminary extract EE and the SFE can inhibit DP accumulation in, osteo, uh, in osteoblast. Um, both, uh, sorry. Um, both, both of a uh, tumor extract can dose dependently suspect DP accumulation in osteoblast. At the concentration 0.5 milligram uh, per meal, EE shows slightly better inhibitory effect uh, than SFE. We also study the uh, triglyceride synthesis in ADN induced osteoblast. Uh, both of the uh, turmeric extract can dose dependently reduce the triglyceride synthesis in osteoblast. At the concentration of 0.5 milligram per meal, EE also show better inhibition effect on triglyceride synthesis than SFU. Continually, we investigate the gene expression of uh, adipogenic markers in, uh, in osteoblasts. The first marker we choose is uh, FAS, fatty acid synthesis, uh, which is an uh, uh, enzyme catalyzed the fatty acid uh, synthesis. Uh, in, the, uh, in this figure, we can see ADN can induce the, uh, can induce the FAS uh, expression and uh, EE and uh, two turmeric extract, uh, EE and uh, SFE can suppress the expression of F FAS. The second uh, hypogenic marker we choose is fatty acid binding protein 4, we call FABP4, which is a carrier protein for fatty acid. Uh, and uh, is expressed in adipocyte and uh, microphage. Uh, from the figure, we can see the ADN can uh, stimulate the FABP4 expression, and then both uh, terminal extract can 
uh, can suppress the expression of uh, FABP4 in the uh, uh, ADN induced osteoblast. So, in the first part of our conclusion, we extract the uh, tumoric powder by ethanol and supercritical free extraction. Uh, in HPLC analysis, the main components of uh, EE was curcumin, but which was hard found in SFE. In GC mass analysis, the major component in SFE was aromatic tumoral. Uh, Turmeric extract EE and the SFE had a good antioxidant activity because of the polyphenol and terpenoid contents. Tumoral extract displayed good anti inflammation activity in LPS stimulate uh, raw 264.7 mouse microfarges through the reduction of uh, nitrile release and the uh, cost to expression. In, in addition, uh, tumoral extract can prevent the cell synthesis in uh, osteoblast through the reduction of a uh, secular RS label. Uh, tumor extract can inhibit lipid accumulation and uh, triglyceride synthesis through the suspension of FAS and FABP4 uh, FA gene expression. Overall, our results indicate uh, tumor extract have a good antioxidant, anti inflammatory and uh, anti lipid accumulation activities. In comparison, uh, solvent extraction with, uh, of a tumoral with uh, mesonol had better bioactivities than supercritical free extraction. So this is the uh, first part of my uh, talk. The second topic I'm going to uh, talk is investigating the major components and the bioactivity in coffee leaves. Um, this portrait was work with dry e agriculture. Oh, this uh, this portrait was work with dry e agriculture experiment branch Tai uh, branch Taiwan Agricultural Research Institute. Uh, Council of Agriculture. Um, coffee is origin in Africa. Nowadays, is regarded as an economically important plant. The major growth region of coffee are South America, Africa, and Asia. In Asia, Indonesia, Vienna and India are major growing countries. The coffee growing condition depends on coffee species. Uh, for aerobica, the suitable growing altitude uh, was around, was around uh, 33, uh, 33 to 6300 feet. And the temperature, is around 16 to 24 Celsius degree. And uh, the under uh, two to four thousand millimeter rainfall. For Robusta, the suitable growing altitude is around zero to 3,300 3, feet. The temperature is around 19 to 32 Celsius degree. And uh, the rainfall are required 15 to uh, 30 hundred millimeters. Um, this uh, figure was shown in, uh, in Mandarin, uh, but uh, you can see from the, um, the map of uh, Taiwan. When you see the coffee bean, which is the uh, grow, uh, growing areas uh, in Taiwan, the, the major uh, species of uh, coffee growing in Taiwan is coffee aerobica. Um, uh, the base uh, in Taiwan, the uh, Jai, uh, Jai, um, particular Ali Mountain, have a base quality of uh, uh, coffee, uh, a base quality of a coffee. 
rise over uh, rise over price of uh, uh, Taiwan uh, may not be able to go good quality of a coffee. Um, Taiwan coffee production is not sufficient in, compar uh, in comparison with other country. Uh, therefore, it, it costs the, uh, it will uh, become high coffee production cost. Uh, in order to increase the coffee production value for the farmers, uh, researchers began to study the coffee leaf. Huh. Uh, based on the uh, previous study, uh, coffee leaf have shown high level of uh, colotonic acid and the least levels of uh, caffeine. Um, so in this study, we want to, inc we want to increase the application of uh, coffee leaf extract. Um, so we investigate whether the coffee leaf can be applied on skin care. In our experiment design, we extract the coffee leaf extract from the uh, from, tai, uh, from Taiwan uh, by water extraction and then analyze the chem chemical components by LC mass, uh, HPLC and the LC mass and uh, measure the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, skin whitening and the anti-age effect. First, we measure the antioxidant activity of coding deep extract uh, from a uh, coffee leaf from Taiwan with the PPH assay. We select eight types of uh, coffee leaf species, uh, coffee leaf species. Uh, and then this figure um, show that uh, CaCOH um, had higher antioxidant activity than others at every concentration. Similar antioxidant um, pattern was present in ABTS as uh, a uh, reducing rate. Then we use HPLC to analyze the main components in coffee leaf extract. Uh, the, we, we know the main components in coffee leaf extract are uh, Chlorogenic acid, caffeine, and uh, mon uh, monkey furry. So we also uh, analyze the the, comp the chemical components in CaZOA deep extract. We can find um, three peak of a uh, chlorogenic acid, caffeine, and uh, monk uh, monkey in in coffee deep CaZOA extract. The major component in coffee leaf CaZOA extract is cogenic acid. We also use LC mass to analyze the main components in coffee leaf extract CaZOA. We can detect these three components, cogenic acid, caffeine, uh, man mancoferrin in coffee leaf extract CaZOA. In comparison, uh, CaZOH coffee leaves had high amount of uh, cogenic acid and less caffeine than other species. As expected, um, young leaf, as, uh, the extract from young leaves had higher amount of uh, cogenic acid than mature leaves. Um, this October, um, CA CO, uh, zero eight was completely identified as a new coffee species in Taiwan and then Tainong number one. So this is the uh, coffee bean from the um, Tainong number one or previously called CA0H. Cogic AC is easter five from the ca uh, caffeine AC and the clinic acid, uh, which is the important uh, biosynthetic intermediate. Cogic acid has an antioxidant and anti-inflammation effect and uh, can 
inhibit the absorption of lipid and carbon hydrate in animal studies. We make we first uh, first we measure the antioxidant activity of a uh, tinol number one leaf extract with DPPH. The result indicate the uh, coffee leaf extract dose dependently increase the antioxidant activity. Similar uh, anti Austin pattern was present in ABTS gave a gene activity. Next, we measure the cytotoxicity of a tino number one coffee leaf extract in raw tosis 4.7 microfarge. Uh, we, we indicate the extract at a concentration 100 and 500 microgram per meal can remain 90% cell viability. Um, cytokines, such as uh, interleukin-1 beta or TN TNF-alpha, can activate cost 2 expression to induce post grounding E2 production. And cost 2 expression can also stimulate microphage to produce an, uh, nitrite. Therefore, uh, we will uh, study the uh, nitrite and the post grounded E2 production in LPS uh, stimulate microphages. In nitrite production study, um, we use LPS to stimulate the nitrite uh, release. And then we found um, Tino number one coffee leaf extract can dose dependently inhibit nitrite release. Next, we study the post grounded E2 production in LPS treat raw tosis 4.7 microfarge. The same. LPS can stimulate post grounded E2 production. And the uh, Tino number one coffee leaf extract can dose dependently suppress the post grounded E2 production. Therefore, Tino number one coffee leaf extract has good anti inflammatory activity. UV radiation can in Induce melanin synthesis from tyrosine, dopamine, and uh, um, uh, dopamine and uh, dopachrome by the tyrosine uh, tyrosine as activity. So uh, we measure the cytotoxicity of a uh, tino number one coffee leaf extract on. B, B16 F10 mouse melanoma cells. The figure uh, demonstrate the coffee deep extract at the concentration between 40 and 400 microgram per meal can remain 80% cell fibrability. Melanin. Uh, Melanin production uh, in melanoma cells depend on the cellular uh, tyrosine as activity. So first, we study the tyrosine activity in melanoma cells. We can see uh, Tino number one coffee deep extract have a minor effect on tyrosine as activity in melanoma cells. Similar to tyrosine as activity, uh, Tino number one coffee deep extract had no inhibitory effect on melanin production. Next, we start we study the cytotoxicity of a uh, Tino number one coffee deep extract in HS68 human dermal fibroblast. Uh, we indicate the uh, uh, number one coffee deep extract 
at a concentration of 40 and uh, 200 microgram per meal can remain 90% cell fibrability. Collagen loss is correlated to skin aging. So we measure the effect of Tano number one coffee leaf extract on collagen level of a human dermal fibroblast. In this figure, uh, we can see the Tano number one coffee leaf extract had a slightly inhibitory effect on collagen expression in human dermal fibroblast. Then uh, we use uh, H2O2 to treat uh, human dermal fibroblast for inducing oxidative uh, stress. Uh, in this figure, H2O2 treatment showed only 40% cell fibrability. On the other hand, um, we, we treat uh, human dermal fibroblast with Tino number one coffee extract first, and then uh, treat with H2O2. And uh, the result showed uh, the protective effect on cell fibrability uh, in comparison with, with H2O2 treat cells. Uh, in addition, uh, Tino number one coffee leaf extract dose dependently increase the cell fibrability in comparison with uh, H2O2 treat cells. Oxidative stress can induce the cell aging. Uh, Synthesis associated beta glycosidase uh, can detect by histo uh, histochemical staining. The blue stain cells are represented as sensor sent cells. We also use the uh, H2O2 to, uh, to induce induce the cell synthesis. As, as you see, uh, H2O2 can, in, uh, can increase the S beta, uh, SA beta gale positive cells in comparison with control. On the other hand, um, Tino number one coffee extract can dose dependently uh, reduce the ratio of SA beta gale positive cells. Um, therefore, uh, Tino number one coffee deep extract can reduce the cell synthesis in human dermal fibroblast. Next, we investigate the effect of Tino number one coffee deep extract on cellular hours production in human dermal fibroblast. We so also use H2O2 to treat the cell to produce the ROS uh, accumulation. Uh, from the uh, image, we can see the, the, green, uh, the cells uh, with green fluorescent was reduced in a cell treating with Tino number one coffee leaf extract. The quantifi uh, quantification analysis demonstrate that those dependent uh, Tino number one coffee leaf extract can those dependent reduce the cellular ROS uh, accumulation in H2O2 treat human dermal fibroblast. In second part of a conclusion, uh, Tino number one COVID deep extract does have a good anti-inflammatory effect. Um, can remove a free radical from the cells, can delay uh, cell aging. However, uh, not all the uh, deep extract from the COVID, uh, from the COVID species have such a beneficial effect. Um, based on our words, um, Taiwan Ministry of Health and uh, Welfare on January, on January 5th, 2021, announced that the COVID leaves of the aerobica and the robusta species could be used as a raw material for tea 
drawing, tea bag, or beverage and, uh, under the regulation of non-traditional food ingredients. Finally, I would like to thank you, uh, Dr. Peilong Lian from Metal Industry Research and Development Center, Jai E Industry Innovation and the, and the Research Centers. Um, for, for all the assistance in turmeric extraction work. Dr. Su Fen Chen from Jai Agriculture Experiment, French Taiwan Agricultural Research Institute, uh, Council of Agriculture, for all the assistance in all species of uh, coffee leaves. Uh, Professor uh, Zhen Nan Chen from our department for uh, for the extraction work. Of course, I also thank you for all my lab students for the experiment work. Finally, uh, thank you for your attention and hope uh, and welcome you to National Jai University. Uh, this is our department uh, in, in the Nantan campus, Nantan campus uh, which is my colleague in the Department of Biochemical Science and the Technology. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Cheng, uh, for this uh, knowledgeable and informative session. Now we move to uh, question and answer session. There are questions in the uh, chat box. First question uh, from Ashok Trifati. Uh, what should be the criteria for selection of a particular solvent for extraction of thermolabile components? Um, first, uh, like uh, tumorally, uh, uh, from the tumor powders, actually uh, the solvent extraction is, uh, is better than supercritical um, fluid uh, extraction. But depends on uh, what kind of uh, material you want to extract. Like you want to have a uh, uh, thermary oils, maybe supercritical uh, fluid um, extraction will be better. But uh, from, this of, uh, from this industry project, we can divide to two parts. First, we can use the supercritical uh, fluid uh, extraction to extract the extension oil first. Uh, and then, the, the, the powder after the extraction, we can use a uh, less amount of solvent uh, to extract it. So we can, uh, we can separate the uh, different part. We can get the curcuminoid from the solvent extraction. And then we also can get the uh, turmeric oils um, from the uh, supercritical um, fluid extraction. And then for the, um, um, for the, coffee, uh, for the coffee leaf, um, uh, because um, if you see from the last of a uh, conclusion, um, all the, for all the non-traditional food ingredient in Taiwan, uh, we need to pass all the uh, um, um, safety tests. And then we need to identify all the chemical components uh, um, first. And then we will submit the application uh, to the health and the uh, Ministry of Health and the Welfare to, to, um, to see uh, the government uh, accept uh, this material as a, um, as a food uh, additive or um, the material uh, or raw materials for uh, healthy potato. So all the, um, all the raw material which haven't seen we haven't been used in Taiwan before. We need to pass this uh, regulation first. Uh, next question is from me only. How senescence associated beta galactoside works? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't catch the, uh, the, the question. How senescence associated beta -galax uh, galactosidase works? How synthesis? Uh, how, how um, okay. Uh, 
Uh, actually, we start this project uh, from the uh, is for the cos uh, cosmetic um, uh, chemicals. Uh, actually, uh, skin aging is a problem, um, uh, and then it, which is the, the we need to test is they can like uh, prevent the skin a uh, skin aging. So we find out the uh, uh, the beta glycosidase. Oh, sorry, the the previous We found the beta glycosidase was used for study the uh, synthesis uh, cell synthesis. Um, so first in this uh, in this figure you can see uh, if you get uh, if your cells uh, produce the uh, um, SA beta gels and uh, this, which is the enzyme huh? if you produce these enzymes in the cells which mean uh, this uh, the, the cells are in the synthesis stage therefore uh, we using the SK uh, uh, the S scale can penetrate into the cells and binding to the um, SA beta, uh, uh, binding with the beta ghetto size uh, together. So, which is uh, one way to study the cell synthesis. Uh, next question is there from Dr. Ram Bishnoi. Uh, have you observed 100% pure curcumin during analysis of standard curcumin? Yes, uh, in my previous study, I uh, using the curcumin, uh, the uh, pure curcumin for the previous study. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, this is a public uh, already published uh, papers in 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 uh, um. Uh, uh, I think it's also right uh, in in the uh, also right his uh, related work. I can't remember the 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 journal names. Um, so yes, in previous I use in the pure compound. Uh, so it's because it's the industry uh, work. So that's why we use in the turmeric um, to uh, to study uh, to to do a study. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, yeah. So this is my previous study. We use in the curcumin uh, directly, and then we find out the curcumin are um, more uh, are toxic uh, in the high concentration. So if we can encapsulate curcumin with a liposome, uh, the toxicity can reduce. Uh, they can, um, the cell can survive better than uh, pure curcumin. That's what we uh, find in the previous study. And uh, I think we also find in American have a, a curcumin loading liposome as a healthy product. Raut sir, please unmute yourself. Uh, next question is from Dr. Ram Bishnoi. Among liposomes and solid lipid nanoparticles, uh, which drug delivery system should be preferred for curcumin containing formulations? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I use in the first uh, using the soya soya phos uh, phosphate choline. I think. Uh, this is very good lipid for liposome formulation. I never compare with another nanoparticles, but because I normally uh, for them, I'm, I'm working with liposome for quite many years already. So I think the liposome is quite good formulation. But uh, in my previous study, we found uh, uh, this one. Is really, um, the curcumin loading liposome is really good for the uh, delivery system, um, but uh, there's, past, uh, there's one problem coming out with the liposome formulation, which is adipogenesis. So uh, lipid can induce the uh, adipogenesis in cells. So, uh, the, so it, for, for example, for a bone, the the lipid uh, concentration need to be um, be restricted. Otherwise, uh, they can uh, induce a lipid uh, uh, accumulation in the in the bone cells. But interesting, uh, interestingly, curcumin can inhibit the adipogenesis. So, uh, curcumin based liposomes is okay for uh, for uh, for bone disease. 
But if using the other uh, uh, components, um, maybe uh, it's not okay. So uh, it, it really depends on what, what is the purpose. But uh, in what we found is liposome can induce the adiposinosis in, uh, in every tissues. So the concentration of the lipid use uh, you must be restricted. Uh, next question is there from Dr. Varsha Tiwari. Uh, how the mechanism of action can be elucidated on the basis of markers analysis? Uh, pardon? I, I didn't get this uh, one. How the mechanism of action can be elucidated on the basis of markers analysis? I... Uh, I didn't get this. I did you did you mean what kind of a mechanism? Yes, can, mechanism. Yeah. Uh, can be used for the uh, analysis. Yes, yes. What kind? Um, marker analysis. You molecular. used uh, various uh, markers. I I using uh you um okay all my study is based on the cell uh cell cultures. Um, I, I, um, so actually the best way to study, of course, is the animal study, but the regulation for animal study in Taiwan is very complicated. So, um, for, it really depends on what kind of area you want to be studied. Like uh, curcumin, I know it's good in bone. So I use in the bone as, a, uh, the bone cell as a model to study the effect. But uh, for the second project, like a uh, coffee leaf extract, uh, because they uh, because the reg uh, the non traditional uh, ingredient regulation at that time we didn't um, we didn't approve until these years, so we 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 already spent several years on this project. So we need to find out how can we use this coffee leaf extract. So we plan to use as as a cosmetic ingredient. Therefore, we using the skin cells as a model study the effect. So it really depends on uh, the application, and then you can decide which model you want to use. So it, it really depends on what kind of project you are working to. Yeah. Uh, next question from Dr. Varsha Tiwari only. How CA08 extract has been prepared? CA08 yeah. extract has been prepared. Oh, uh, this one. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, we have a uh, prepared. Uh, we have a uh, try different uh, extraction. Uh, like uh, the water. Uh, the the main. All this of uh, uh, CA08 extract was prepared by water extraction, and then we also have a uh, prepared with the uh, ethanol extraction and uh, ultrasonic uh, extraction. Uh, this three way we have uh, tried uh, in past. Uh, I think water extraction or ultrasonic extraction are good uh, or better than the ethanol uh, extractions. And then uh, all the work we working in coffee leaf extract, uh, we we using the water extraction uh, because uh, we want uh, as I say in the conclusion. We need to uh, provide the data for the uh, Ministry of Health and Wales uh, to, uh, to use as a raw material in the, uh, in the food additive. So therefore we using the water as the base to study the effect. I think the ethanol gets similar result. Yeah. Our next question is there from uh, Dr. Uh, Shanmuga Priya. Whether coffee leaf contain caffeine? If yes, what's the influence of caffeine over anti-inflammation action? Uh, 
actually, we never studied the coughing effect. Uh, I never studied. Uh, we have uh, using a pure compound to do the study. I think the uh, culture essay and the uh, mancofin have uh, anti-information effect, but I'm not sure about the coughing. I never studied coughing in past before yet. But in our uh, in when we're doing this work, actually, um, Ministry and Health and Well, they ask, can we remove the coughing from the uh, coffee leaves? So we have a try and we have a making another extraction way to remove the coffee, but I can't say in here is that this is a, uh, they, uh, they, want, uh, they want to apply for some kind of uh, grant or, uh, or patent. So we, we did find out one way to remove a coffee from the uh, coffee leaf extract. Yeah. Our next question is there from uh, Renu Arya. What was the solvent system to isolate final compound curcumin? What, uh, uh, curcumin? Uh, yeah, uh, which solvent system uh, you used to isolate the final compound? That is curcumin. Oh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't isolate the curcumin from the final product. So we only get the curcuminoid from the ethanol extract and then get the uh, tumor roll from the extension oil. But we we using the uh, the raw uh, raw materials. We didn't uh, purify it yet. Okay. Uh, she was asking, uh, what was the source of procurement of raw material? From which source you procured? Of, yes. What, what kind of source? Okay. Of a pure. What kind of source of a pure materials? Yes. In my previous study. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that kur uh, means turmeric source. She's asking. Uh, for my pure uh, compound, I, of course, I get from the uh, from the chemical company. But for I think, if for healthy powder, I don't think in Taiwan we using the pure compounds. I think they only use the turmeric extract, and then uh, I think they extract by themselves uh, from the turmeric. The next question is there from uh, Satish Meshram. And during these days, uh, females suffering with the polycystic uh, ovary syndrome, uh, is it possible to formulate such formulation using curcumin to useful for a cyst? And which model prefer for study? Oh, <laughs> actually, curcumin study a lot already. Um, uh, it actually, when I was in Queensland University, I have a uh, working with uh, Professor Ron uh, she's, uh, in, uh, she's Indian and very famous in Australia. At, at that time, we actually using the uh, curcumin um, with other drug. Uh, it is a combination. Uh, at that, uh, for the start, uh, for the treatment of uh, arthritis, uh, arthritis rheumatism. So uh, I think at that time we are in a clinical uh, phase two clinical trial. I don't know it's uh, uh, get uh, get or uh, is already in the clinical or not. But at that time we are in the phase two. So it actually curcumin uh, uh, can use as an aldrophan uh, with another uh, with another drug formulation, and in Taiwan. The curcumin based healthy products are really popular, especially. Especially, uh, the, 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 the top one, I, I don't know, uh, is uh, the top one. This one is the hypopotative one. And people, uh, if you drinking the alcohol, uh, they think the curcumin based healthy powder uh, can refresh, uh, just uh, and then you can reduce the alcohol level in your in the blood. I don't know how, but uh, people uh, pe uh, people in Taiwan or, or Japan uh, believe it. So actually, curcumin based healthy powder are 
very hot at this moment in Taiwan. So a lot of people are doing the curcumin extraction uh, at this moment, yeah. There is a last question from Dr. Maruti Shelar. So the curcumin you use, uh, is it often from organically cultivated turmeric? I, uh, I don't know, for extract, of, of course it's uh, uh, extract, but for the one I get in past, I don't know how, how, how to, they like, synthesize it or they like, like purify, I don't know how, how to like, do it, yeah. But uh, all the uh, uh, turmeric based uh, powder is natural extract, not the chemical, chemical uh, synthesis one, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Chang. Madam, uh, excuse me, just uh, I'm having one question. Uh, Madam, you had uh, shared some uh, equipment so that ultrasound assisted as well as the supercritical which you have been used. Madam, may I know what is the loading capacity of the raw material for that equipment? Oh, what's that? Loading capacity of raw material for this, uh, industry based ultrasound equipment and the supercritical extraction which you shared. Um... Because I'm only working on cell based of study, but uh, in, in America, they're doing the clinical trial for healthy powder. I think uh, they compare with the pure curcumin, the efficiency. Actually, the liposome can reduce the inflammation also. So uh, I think the capacity are much better than curcumin alone. And then uh, I think the liposome of a nanoparticle can improve the uh, uh, permeabilities uh, in, um, in in the oral administration uh, uh, in in oral administration. So actually, curcumin uh, liposome can increase the uh, permeabilities of curcumin uh, by the absorption uh, for the absorptions. Yeah, but I don't know because uh, all my work are based on only on the uh, cell base. And then at that time, I also uh, check with uh, uh, the another papers. Uh, they already did a clinical trials, and then they actually the the product already on the market uh, in American market. So yeah, uh, I think it's better than using curcumin alone. Thank you, ma'am. Any more questions? Uh, Thank you, Dr. Chang. Uh, Dr. Chang, can you. you can you stop sharing uh, your slides? Okay. Okay. Let me